Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Adam. And we're with First Mate Pet Foods. Today we're here to talk to you about our company and our product lines to give you a better understanding of what we do here at First Mate. First Mate Pet Foods started in 1989 and is a family owned and operated manufacturing facility. Being a manufacturer of our own product provides First Mate with full control over the quality of our ingredients and our manufacturing procedures from start to finish. This is a very important point because many companies out there are more so of a marketing company rather than a manufacturer and being a manufacturer sets First Mate apart. We're able to control the quality of our ingredients from the raw materials all the way up to the product that ends up on your shelf. One of the things that we do that's very unique from a manufacturing perspective is add all of our heat sensitive ingredients uh, along with our fat as the last stage prior to packaging. All of our kibble is cooked, cooled and at room temperature when we use our vacuum infusion system to add all of these ingredients. All of our kibble is placed into a long cylinder. The air is removed, leaving the kibble looking very, very porous, like a sponge, or for you Canadians out there, similar to that of an arrow candy bar. And we then reintroduce the air, which pulls all of those oils and nutrients into the center of our kibble. This does two things. First and foremost, it ensures that all of those heat sensory ingredients are intact and that your dog or cat is gonna get the best out of what they're consuming. Secondly, it, in it increases the palatability of our formulas, and that's because unlike uh, uh, many companies that spray the fat on, our kibble is moist right through to the center of, of the kibble itself. First Mint uses all regional ingredients uh, with, a, with some exceptions, uh, the Australian lamb being the most notable. Uh, we use Australian lamb, which is grass-fed, free-range, and hormone and antibiotic-free, uh, because we do sell in other markets besides the U.S. and Canada, including Asia and the European markets. First Mate was the very first company to introduce a grain-free option in 1995, and our product line is still considered to be very, very unique within this grain-free category. First and foremost, First Mate is committed to using moderate levels of protein and very, very simple nutrition. Well, our single-carb, single-protein approach, using just limited ingredients, really lends itself to being a more versatile or flexible way of feeding. You can use it for everyday maintenance feeding, as well as uh, rotational feeding, rotating between the lamb, chicken, and fish options. You can use it for digestive upsets, as well as diet restrictions and allergies. The moderate levels of protein that we use are protein levels that have been found in pet food for over 50 years, and First Mate has been using for over 20 years with great success. This long-term feeding um, has given us uh, a fair bit of history on the long-term results of feeding these levels of protein. And that's why we continue to be comfortable to use, using them in our product lines. Using the simple approach that we have, we use just with single carbohydrate and don't break up our carbohydrate sources. That being said, potato is oftentimes the first option, the first ingredient on our ingredient panel. Typically, pet foods have been evaluated based on the order of the ingredients. If the meat uh, source is found high in the ingredient panel uh, or the first ingredient, this is a very, very good pet food. Uh, if it's found lower down or as a second or third ingredient, then it's uh, of lesser quality. This is a very, very old way of evaluating the quality of a pet food. What we need to pay more attention to is what percentage of protein is coming from the meat source and what percentage of protein is coming from the carbohydrate source. When we go back 10 or 15 years, this information wasn't available uh, on the packaging websites or POS materials out there. So people were left to judge a product based on the order of these ingredients. If the meat source was found very high on the ingredient panel, it was more than likely that most of the protein in this diet came from the meat source. If the carbohydrate source was higher on the ingredient panel, then it was more than likely that this company was using the carbohydrate source as the primary protein. One of the ways that companies now manipulate this fact is by breaking up their carbohydrate sources. They may take three or four carbohydrates, and since each individual ingredient weighs less than the one before it, meat still appears to be the first ingredient. Look at it this way. First Mate has this much carbohydrate in our diets. For us, they're all potato. Brand X might have this much or even this much carbohydrate in their diet. But because they're able to break it up, peas, potatoes, sweet potatoes, yams, lentils, each individual ingredient weighs less than the one before. As a result, it, appear, it appears second, third, fourth, and fifth on the ingredient panel, bumping the protein source up to the very first ingredient. Information is available on First Mate's packaging on the back side uh, using a pie graph that explains where the protein comes from in each one of our diets. 
As an example, if you were to look at our chicken and blueberries, you would find out that the only animal protein source in there is chicken, and of the 25% protein available in that diet, 84% of it comes from the chicken, and 16% of it comes from the carbohydrate source. So in this situation, the primary, the primary source of protein is the meat, even though potato was the first ingredient. One of the other questions that comes up quite a bit is chicken fat. We've used chicken fat since 1995 and since the, the birth of our grain-free diets. Chicken fat is a wonderfully digestible animal fat, uh, and an animal should be eating animal fat. The alternatives are going to be canola oil or safola oil, but the question comes up, well, my dog has a chicken allergy, is he going to be allergic to the chicken fat? The answer is no. The chicken fat is rendered protein-free, and so it's safe and healthy for dogs with chicken allergies.